Welcome to Swine U. Seth Plater with Sioux Nation Ag Center, joined by Emma Lasko with the, our good friends at Zoetis Pork. Emma is a production specialist, a swine production specialist, and today we're going to talk about uh, disease and pig sickness severity. Is that correct? Absolutely. It's a training called Individual Pig Care, and it's really where we talk about looking at every pig, every pen, every day, um, top to bottom, head to tail, kind of identifying when to give them the correct treatment. I think you guys call it the ABCs, right? Exactly. Perfect. Well, let's get into it. So A means acute, right? Yes. Yep. So when I'm walking pens though, I see a lot of cute pigs, but you told me earlier that acute actually means that they may have uh, intense sickness, but high probability to be treated. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Although all the pigs are cute, an acute pig is a pig that is showing beginning signs of falling out. Um, so you may see them in the back corner of a pen. Uh, they may have their heads down, acting depressed, possibly with some breathing issues. Um, so that would be what we describe as an acute pig, an A pig. Okay, that makes more sense. And the physical traits that we see include being slightly gant in the flanks, full flesh or bloom from above, and dull red or weepy eyes. Exactly. The A pigs aren't going to be what your eye goes right to in the pen. It'll take a little bit longer to identify. Um, we really call these A pigs the opportunity pigs. The ones that we need to catch before they turn into Bs or Cs, uh, the treatment as they begin to fall out. In the acute stage, we have a better chance of response because the antibiotic or treatment is getting into the system right at the beginning of the pig being sick. So now we move to B or subacute pigs where they're a little bit sicker, a little bit less likely to recover. Is that correct? I mean, when when you look at those A pigs, we we feel that they're gonna make a full pig and and gonna make a full value pig. These B pigs, they're a little bit more touch and go. Is that right? That's correct. You're gonna see different fluctuations of treatment response, and these pigs are gonna show different signs of sickness. Right. So you're going to see some of the same signs as A, but they've picked up intensity, like. Um, their posture may look a little bit different, arched in the back um, or really listless ears and their head down. Physically, the bee pigs are definitely going to be gaunt. They're going to appear thinner and slab sided. Uh, different from the A pig, they may have some rougher hair coat, meaning they got chilled when they were younger, as well as some black crust around the eyes. Unlike A pigs, bee pigs may not be able to compete in general population and be, should be sorted off into a treatment pen to track recovery. And lastly, we finish up with C or chronic disease pigs. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, those are the pigs that have been dealing with long-term illness and are probably most likely not gonna make it. Absolutely, they're the ones that when you're walking pens, your eye goes to really easily. They have a low response to treatment because they've been battling an illness for so long without treatment. When I'm walking the pens, I usually see those chronically ill pigs. They're appearing severely depressed and they have a difficulty to breathe, uh, their ears kind of down and be listless. Absolutely, you're gonna see them being severely gaunt. They've been off feed and water for a while and have that flush loss. They'll show signs of lameness possibly, appear with a soiled hair coat because they haven't been able to get up, and a very visible spine. Their eyes will also, also have that black crust. Uh, these are pigs that are always going to be easily to stand out, like I mentioned, um, and they need to be treated as soon as possible and moved into a treatment pen. So to recap, the ABCs of pig care. A is acute, where well, the likelihood of treatment success is very high. Subacute, moderate success. And then C, chronic, which is a very low likelihood of success. You know, when I look at that ABC, I want to make sure that we remember that if we catch them at A, the likelihood of those pigs rebounding and doing really well, super high. So if we can catch them at A, keeps them away from B or C, right? Absolutely. That is the goal, right? Find those opportunity to get pigs. Make sure we're getting more full value pigs to market is definitely the goal. Um, and then also helping us guide treatment, right? So now we know that when I see that A pig, I need to get a treatment in it. And if I'm seeing a bunch of B's and C's, I need to step it up a little bit. Definitely, definitely. Well, Emma, appreciate your time today. And uh, thanks again to our great sponsors, Oasis Pork. If anybody has any other questions or would like information, additional information, 
feel free to visit zoidasus.com or call your field marketer at Sioux Nation Ag Center, as well as check out uh, SiouxNationAg.com. Again, look forward to seeing you in our next segments of Swine U. We'll see y'all soon.